What's up, YouTube? Thank you everyone who has been watching, liking, and subscribing to the channel. For this video, we are going to go over how to make your graphics for Tarkov Arena as clean and clear as they can be. There are three different settings we need to adjust, which are your physical monitor graphic settings, NVIDIA control panel settings, and Tarkov Arena graphic settings, post FX, and graphics. To start, I cannot show you guys my actual monitor settings because my recording will not pick up when I press the buttons on my monitor. But what I can tell you guys is there are only three settings on my monitor that are brightness, which is at 100, contrast, which is at 45, and lastly, sharpness, which is at 50. And from here, we are going to head over to our NVIDIA control panel settings. So the next thing we're going to move into is the NVIDIA control panel. Um, you're going to go right into your windows. You're going to type in NVIDIA control panel, and then you'll be able to pop this up, which you'll go over to, you know, adjust desktop color settings. You can see that right here. And then we're going to actually choose the monitor that, monitor that we want. If you have multiple monitors and then go down to color channel. So we're going to go into all channels and this is the only one that we're going to need to touch. You don't need to go into red. You don't need to go into green. You don't need to go into blue. Um, they're all going to be the same once you go to all channels and adjust from there. So like I said, this is the second part after the monitor settings are changed and we'll start with the brightness, bring it down to 55. I was playing with it anywhere from like 52 to 60. Um, head down to contrast, we are at 65. The gamma, anywhere from 0.90 to 1.0 is what, is what I liked. I know a lot of people like to go a little dimmer on the colors for this game, but I, I don't understand why. So we're sitting at 0.92 here. The digital vibrance at 65% and the hue at zero. From there, we will head to Escape from Tarkov Arena and go to Post FX. Let's show you how to get here. Head to Settings, Graphics, go over to Post FX. So we're going to put Enable Post FX on. Then we are going to turn the brightness up to 100, Saturation at 50. Clarity at 80, colorfulness at 100, Luma sharpen at 80, adaptive sharpen at 25, and then the color grading will be chill wave, intensity at 28, color blind mode is none, intensity is zero. Um, save that. Then we can head back in, head over to graphics. All right, so we're in our graphics settings now. And let's start at the top. We have 1920 by 1080, 16.9, 16 16.9 aspect ratio, borderless, PHL, that's my monitor. No V-Sync, no multi-monitor support. The overall graphics quality is all the way to the left. Texture quality is high. Shadows quality is low. Object LOD quality is at 3. Overall visibility is at 3000. Anti-aliasing is TAA high. Resampling is 1 times off. AMD FSR 1.0 off. AMD FSR 2.2 is off. HBAO high. SSR high. Anisotric filtering per texture and video reflex low latency off my sharpness is at zero you guys can adjust this anywhere to I'd say 0 0.2 0 0.3 whatever you guys want to do play with it a little bit and maybe there's something that you guys like more than zero lobby FPS limit is 60 game FPS limit 144 um, and then all the way at the bottom I have grass shadows checked marked the only thing I have check marked but Another thing is, if you guys have anything different that 
you think works better, um, leave it in the comments. And if there's something you're playing around with and you can't figure out, leave it in the comments. I'll test it out, try it out. But this is what I've been rocking with and it seemed to have been working for me. I like the way everything's been looking. As you can see in the uh, clip in the beginning, that's what these graphics are based off of the Reaper class on Equator. So yeah, guys, that's, that's everything. Leave a like, thumbs up, um, comment, subscribe, whatever you guys want to do. That would be great. All the love is appreciated and I'll see you for the next video. Thank you.